LiveKit is an open source tool that has become a key enabler of voice AI systems across many platforms. And now LiveKit has just released their very own agent builder on the cloud, meaning we can build with absolutely no code at all. So today I'm gonna to be reviewing this entire platform to see if it's something worth investing your time into and uncover if there are any benefits to using it compared to some of the other platforms out there like Vapi or Retail. So this right here is LiveKit, build apps that can see, hear and speak. We can see that it says it's the open source framework and cloud platform for voice, video and physical AI agents. Uh, ultimately, it's a voice AI platform uh, and a key part of it is that it's open source. And so once again, LiveKit has been around for quite a while now, although it has just been an open source framework. So this was only accessible through code. And previously LiveKit had to be hosted by yourself. So a big benefit of LiveKit is that you can host it yourself. Although obviously now with LiveKit Cloud, it's gonna make it a lot easier to get an agent up and running and then you can take it and self-host it after that. Just scrolling down a bit, we can see some of the application layers for LiveKit specifically. Notably, OpenAI does actually use LiveKit to power their own advanced voice system. So you've probably used this, you probably know it sounds quite good and this is using some of the infrastructure of LiveKit. So they're certainly not an unknown company. It's a big player in the voice AI space and it is something that you should definitely be paying some attention to. Scrolling down further once again, really putting to the point that this is a system that if you are someone that is looking to self-host these systems and you wanna get the best prices, then LiveKit is gonna be something that can help with that. The downside obviously being that you will have to manage that yourself and update it. There's gonna be probably more maintenance involved in having to self-host, but this should be solved with LiveKit Cloud. But jumping straight into it, this right here is LiveKit Cloud and immediately what you're gonna see is quite a few similarities between the LiveKit Cloud system and a platform like Vapi or Retail. And so a lot of the settings that we're gonna get access to are gonna be very similar across all of these platforms. We're gonna be obviously getting our main system prompts, which as you can see in the instruction set, this is obviously gonna be guiding our voice AI system. We're instructing it on exactly what we wanna have happen, whether that's tool calls or setting a personality, all of that will happen here. And then a lot of your basic settings as well with the models and the voices. So we get access to quite a few text-to-speech models, uh, voice models, large language models, speech-to-text models as well. We get access to everything here. And I would compare this quite similar to a platform like Vapi, which gives us a lot of control over these different elements as well. And also gives us a lot of options as well. So compared to something like retail, we don't get too many controls when it comes to the text-to-speech model, although something like Vapi does give us quite a few different options. Clicking into this, you'll see that we've got Cartesia, Eleven Labs, Rhyme, InWorld, so a few different providers to choose from. And then the same goes for the voice. We've got many different voices we can choose from. The same goes for the large language model as well, which is pretty awesome. We get access to quite a few different models with DeepSeek, Gemini, OpenAI. And then once again, with the speech to text model, we're getting access to you know three different providers here with Cartesia, DeepGram, Assembly AI, a few different providers we can choose from. So right out the gate, this is probably going to be a platform that is more comparable to something like Vapi, which is a bit more developer centric, which is giving us access to many different options to choose from. Whereas a platform like Retail doesn't actually give us the ability to change our transcribe model. And that is something that they just handle themselves. Next to the models and voice, we've got actions. So this is going to be our function tool calls or API calls. And just clicking into the add HTTP tool, you'll see right here that we get our basic sort of setup necessary to make an API call. So in their example, you can see it says get weather, use this tool to get the weather. It's got an API that we're gonna be calling to get that information and we can retrieve that back into the conversation. So pretty standard setup, pretty much every platform has this, although notably they don't have any pre-defined functions. So booking appointments, sending information to make.com or NNN, they don't have any predefined functions for that. So once again, adding to it, it is a bit more of a developer centric platform. And then all the way at the end here, we've got an advanced setting right here with three different options with custom metadata. So if we wanna send custom variables and information into our agent, this is something that we can set up to have happen here. So this is something that you might use if you're building an outbound agent. If it's in an appointment reminder system, you're typically going to wanna to send through a contact name so that you can greet them at the start of the call and maybe some previous details about their previous bookings so that you can reference that in the call itself. Below this, we've got secrets. These are kind of variables as well, but this is dedicated and specific to API keys or secret information. So this is more if we're gonna be doing any dynamic API calls. This is something that you're gonna be able to restrict and redact that API key so it's a bit encrypted. And this is once again, really just playing to the fact that we can take these agents and we can self-host them. And so something like this is gonna be critical if you are gonna be taking that code and hosting it yourself. And then all the way at the bottom with the telephony, so connect your agent to phone numbers and we can simply get access to purchasing a phone number and connecting it right here. Although on the left-hand side, there are a few more options in order to get our phone number and connecting them, which I'll jump into in just a bit. But overall, it's pretty simple. There's not actually not a whole lot of options here when it comes to actually building and configuring our agents. 
Compared to platforms like Vapi and Retail, the settings and the options that we have here isn't as extensive. Now, just having a quick look at the right hand side here, you'll see that we can have a preview and we can actually give it a call and we can test it out. But also at the top right of the screen, you're going to see code as well. So if I click on this, what you're going to notice pop up is just a bunch of code. And so this is just Python code. You can see the file here, agent.py. And so this is a file in which you could literally just self host anywhere to run this agent. And so once again, just adding to it, this is something that you can take this file, you can build it on the cloud system, but you can also export it and run this system locally. Once again, the big benefit of this is you're gonna be able to maximize call concurrency. So that's one big thing that you're gonna be able to maximize with self-hosting. And so that just means how many people can actually call the system at one time. Jumping over into the telephony settings right here, what we can do is purchase a phone number directly through the platform. This is great. It's very similar to Vapi to retail where we can purchase these numbers very easily. And we can actually see that it says no external SIP trunk configuration required as well. So we can just purchase the number directly through here. We'll see a bunch of numbers coming up and we can literally just purchase them directly through LiveKit themselves. Obviously very convenient, very easy. We can just purchase it and connect it directly. Otherwise, if you want to, you can do a custom SIP trunk as well and connect your own Twilio number from Twilio. Anyways, let's give this agent a demo and see if it sounds any good. Hello, how can I assist you today? Hey, I was just wondering what you guys can help out with. What exactly do you help with? I can assist with answering questions, explaining topics, helping you find information, setting reminders, providing recommendations, and guiding you through tasks step by step. What would you like help with today? Yeah, what's a big benefit of using LiveKit versus to some of the other platforms? A big benefit of LiveKit is that it offers an open source customizable platform for real-time audio and video communication, giving developers more control and flexibility compared to many proprietary services. Are you looking to use it for a specific project? No, that sounds pretty good. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about you? Sure. I'm a voice assistant designed to help with information, tasks, and answering your questions quickly and clearly. I can guide you through processes, provide explanations, and assist with a variety of topics. So there we have it. Overall, it sounds pretty similar to what you'd expect from some of the other platforms as well. I wouldn't say that it necessarily stands out as being significantly better than any other platform. The latency was definitely quite good. I didn't notice any artifacts as well. Some of the other stuff that we get access to here on LiveKit Cloud in their sandbox sections on the sandbox on the left-hand side here, you'll see that there's these three options with a web voice agent. So it's a starter app featuring a flexible voice AI front end. So this is something that we can get access to just via their code so we can put uh, the voice agent on our website as well. And also you can see that they've got a framework for doing video conferences. So an open source video conferencing app built on LiveKit components. So we can build out a system to just speak face to face with these LiveKit systems. So that's definitely pretty unique. I haven't seen that anywhere else. Overall, pretty solid platform, probably not the most advanced when it comes to their cloud infrastructure. for building out these agents versus platforms like Vapi or Retail. The big benefit here is going to be the fact that they are going to be that more developer centric platform. If we do want to host this infrastructure and we do want to manage the infrastructure ourselves, then this could be a big benefit to obviously reduce some of that cost. It's going to be more scalable. So call concurrency is something that we're going to have much more and easier access to scale with our own servers. Now for a conclusion ourselves as an agency in which builds these systems and runs them for other companies do provide some benefits in the fact that those platforms are going to be managing the backend for us. Obviously things like hosting and optimizing for latency and just making sure that everything is running smoothly. That is something that can be quite beneficial to delegate off to some of those platforms. And so using a platform like this, like LiveKit for our own agency clients, we're probably not going to be doing ourselves internally. But if we were going to be building out a dedicated app that we wanted to use a voice agent system for, and we did have the time and development resources to manage and maintain, then choosing LiveKit would be a, probably a better option. So I hope that makes sense. Hopefully I've been able to distinguish the benefits of using a platform like LiveKit that that is developer centric versus platforms like Vapi and Retail and the other ones out there. If you found this video helpful and you wanna learn how to get voice agents up and running very quickly to use as demos using Gemini 3 Pro, check out this video right here. And if you just wanna become a better AI developer, you wanna be more involved in the AI space, I've got a completely free AI school community. We've got over 20,000 members now. We've got over 50 plus AI agent templates and courses. So if you do need support and you do need help, definitely check out our school community. Once again, it's completely free and I'll have it linked in the description.